the beanstalk. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Jack, who lived with his mother in a tiny cottage. They were very poor. Hello. Hello. Drag me to make me move. You seem friendly. Welcome to our story. Jack's a nice boy, but he doesn't always think things through. Tap the blue arrows twice to change scene. One day, Jack's mother asked her son to take their only cow to market. Jack, we have nothing to eat and no money. We'll have to sell Daisy. Can you feed her, clean her, and put her bell on so you can get a good price for her? You'll need to clean her better than that. I wish we didn't have to sell Daisy. This place won't seem the same without Daisy. Well done. Mm -hmm. Poor Daisy. I wish she didn't have to leave us. I don't know what we'll do without Daisy. At least it's a nice day. Mm -hmm. I really hope we get a good price for her. Can you feed Daisy some hay? For your help, it's a long way to market. Make sure you feed Daisy plenty of hay. It's a long way to market. Make sure you Thanks feed Daisy, Daisy plenty ready. of hay. Jack felt very sad as he led Daisy along the road. No. The birds singing, Daisy. Mm. I wonder if she knows we're on our way to the market. Mm. I'll really miss you, Daisy. We've still got a long way to go, Daisy. Mm. Swipe me to make me go faster. Daisy doesn't look very happy. They had not gone very far before they met a strange-looking man with an old suitcase. Hello, young man. What a lovely cow! If you give her to me, you can have ten of these magic beans in return. Ooh, magic beans! How exciting! I'll take them. Here you are. Put these magic beans in your backpack. Wow! I've never seen magic beans before. You're a lucky boy to have these magic beans. These magic beans are such pretty colours. You've got yourself a good deal here. These magic beans are beautiful. You can have some more. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
Ten. No more magic beans for you, young man. These beans look amazing. But when Jack got home and showed his mother the magic beans, she was very angry and she threw them out of the window. You silly boy! I can't believe you traded our only cow for these ridiculous beans. I'm sorry, Mum. Don't worry, I'm sure I'll think of something. What were you thinking? You're always saying I shouldn't talk to strangers. What are we going to eat now? I'll think of something to help us out, Mum. The next morning when Jack woke up, there was an enormous beanstalk in the garden. He decided to climb to the very top. Wow! This beanstalk is huge! He climbed higher and higher and higher. the very top of the beanstalk, a long path stretched in front of Jack, leading to a huge castle. When he reached the castle, the door swung open and Jack stepped inside. Oh, what are you doing here? This is the giant's castle. He's very scary. I'm not afraid of giants. In that case, I'll help you explore. Can you find a key in this room and figure out which door it unlocks? There's a key. I don't think that's the right room. What a lot of doors! This isn't the right door. I don't think that's the right room. I wonder where the giant is now. I don't think that's the right room. There's a key. There's a key. This isn't the right door. I don't think that's the right room. This castle is the right size for a giant.
This castle is enormous. It's hard to find your way around this castle. Jack found himself in the library, where a librarian was sorting books. I don't know who you are, and I haven't got time to find out. These bookshelves are a terrible mess, and the giant likes his books arranged by colour. Can you complete the pattern by putting the books in this box in the right places on the shelves? I wish I had time to read all these books. I love going to libraries. Say the colours out loud and see if that helps you to figure out the pattern. This book doesn't go there. Can you figure out the pattern? That's not quite right. You're very good at this. Well done. That's right. Well done. You're very good at this. That's right. Well done. Can you complete the pattern by putting the books in this box in the right places on the shelves? Well done! You're very good at this! That's right! Well done! You're very good at this! This book doesn't go there! That's right. Well done. That's right. You're very good at this. That's right. Well done. Can you complete the pattern by putting the books in this box in the right places on the shelves? I don't think that book goes there. You're very good at this. Try again. That's right. This book doesn't go there. Well done. Drag the books in the box to the right places on the shelves. That's right. Say the colours out loud and see if that helps you to figure out the pattern. The giant doesn't come here often, but when he does, he likes it to be neat. That's not quite right. Well done. Try again. I don't think that book goes there. Try again. You're very good at this. Can you figure out the pattern? This book doesn't go there. This book doesn't go there. Well done. Well done. Thank you for helping me. Here, take this key. You might find it useful. Can you put the key in my backpack? It's a pleasure to help you. So Jack looked for the right door for his key. Hmm. 
I wonder what door this key opens. Maybe I need to find the door that's the same colour as this key. I don't think that's the right room. I've been there already. This must be the lowest floor. I think this is the right door. Yeah! Jack found himself in a room with a deep, dark well and a friendly frog beside it. I don't know who you are, but I hope you can help me. The giant stole my golden ball and dropped it down this well. Can you please get it for me? Thank you for rescuing my golden ball. Can you drag the ball out of the bucket? Well done. Thank you for helping me. Here, take this key. You might find it useful. Can you put the key in my backpack? It's a pleasure to help you. So Jack looked for the right door for his key. I've already been in that room. This must be the middle floor. I don't think that's the right room. I'm going to go upstairs and look there. This must be the highest floor. Jack found himself in the giant's counting house where the giant himself was fast asleep, snoring loudly. Look at those golden coins. Can you lift up the giant's hand and take them without waking him up? Can you put the coins in my backpack? That was close. You nearly woke him up. Oh, the giant's arms are heavy. Gently does it. That was close. You nearly woke him up. Gently does it. That was close. You nearly woke him up. Gently does it. Phew! I've done it. Thanks for helping me. Jack searched for another key. There's a key. I think this is the right door. Jack found himself in the kitchen, where a cook was busy making soup. I don't know who you are, and I haven't got time to find out. The giant is waiting for his lunch. Can you help me with the cooking? Can you stir in the right ingredient to turn the soup yellow? I do feel sorry for you. I'm glad I can help out. 
If the giant catches you, he'll eat you up. I'm sorry the giant is so mean to you. Try adding a bit more. I think this should do the trick. Just right. Can you stir in the right ingredient to turn the soup red? I think this should do the trick. Well done. Can you stir in the right ingredient to turn the soup orange? I think this should do the trick. Well done. Thank you for helping me. Here, take this key. You might find it useful. Yeah. So Jack looked for the right door for his key. I've been there already. I've already been in that room. This must be the middle floor. I don't think that's the right room. I'm going to go downstairs and look there. This must be the lowest floor. Yeah! Jack found himself in the dungeon where a baby dragon was locked up in a cell. I don't know who you are, but I hope you can help me. The giant locked me up here, and I want to go home. Look at the stones on the wall. Which ones do you have to press to release me? You're doing well. I don't like it here. Thank you for helping me. Here, take this key. You might find it useful. It's cold in this dungeon. So Jack looked for the right door for his key. I've already been in that room. I think this is the right door. Yeah. Jack found himself in the goosery, where the giant was fast asleep, snoring loudly. One of these geese lays golden eggs. Can you find which one it is without waking up the giant? That's not a golden egg. That's not the right one. It's not that one either. There are some strange things in these nests. That's not the right one. It's not that one either. That's it. That's the golden egg. Can you put the goose and her golden egg into my backpack? Phew! I've done it. Thanks for helping me. Jack, search for another key. I've already been in that room. I've been there already. I've already been in that room. Maybe I need to find the door that's the same colour as this key. This must be the middle floor. I'm going to go upstairs and look there. I think this is the right door. Yeah. Jack found himself in a room where a maid was crying over a broken mirror. I don't know who you are, and I haven't got time to find out. I've just broken this mirror, and the giant will be furious. Can you help me fix it? You're very good at this. That doesn't seem to fit there. 
That piece doesn't go there. Thank you so much for helping. That piece fits. Do be careful. It's just like a jigsaw puzzle. I don't puzzle. think that piece goes there. Well done. That piece fits. Well done. Thank you for helping me. Here, take this key. You might find it useful. It's a pleasure to help you. So Jack looked for the right door for his key. I'm going to go upstairs and look there. I'm going to go upstairs and look there. This must be the highest floor. I think this is the right door. Yeah! Jack found himself in the attic where a butler was tidying up. I don't know who you are, but I hope you can help me. This attic is full of bats. Can you help me to get rid of them? Can you search the attic to find the bats? Swipe the bats to help them fly away. There were 20 bats in this attic. Can you help me shoo them away? Goodbye, Mr. Bat. Goodbye, I'm glad Mrs. You're not Bat. Scared of bats. Good. 11. 12. 14. 15. 6. 17. 18. 19. 20. Well done. Thank you for helping me. Here, take this key. You might find it useful. Yeah! I think that's all of them. So Jack looked for the right door for his key. I've already been in that room. I've been there already. I'm going to go downstairs and look there. This must be the middle floor. I think this is the right door. Yeah! The giant always said... Jack found himself in the music room, where the giant was fast asleep, snoring loudly. I don't know who you are, but I'm going to wake up the giant, unless you can copy my tunes. Now listen to this. Your turn. The giant d That wasn't quite right. Try again. Now listen to this. Your turn. The giant doesn't like visitors. The giant doesn't like vi- That was perfect. Yeah! Here's the second tune. Your turn. The g that was perfect. Yeah! Here's the third tune. Your turn. Well done. But I tricked you. I'm going to wake up my master anyway. Master Giant, wakey, wakey. This boy Jack is trying to take me. Quick! Grab the harp and put it in my backpack. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I can see you. Here I come. You may think that you're the winner, but I'll eat you up for dinner. What are you doing in my castle? This is my castle. You can't hide forever. The giant chased Jack through the castle. Knocking into these barrels will slow me down. You can't catch me. You might be scary, but you're not very fast. I hope we can escape the giant's castle. We'll have to.
to run away! We're in trouble now! Quick, let's get out of here! He looks really angry! We're in trouble now! I hope we can... The giant chased Jack along the path! He looks really angry! You might be scary, but you're not very fast! You can't catch me! We're in trouble now! You might be scary, but you're not very fast! You can't catch me! He looks really... The giant chased Jack down the beanstalk! Ah! He almost got me there! You can't catch me! Ouch! That was close! He almost got me there! As soon as he reached the ground, Jack grabbed an axe and chopped the beanstalk down! This axe is heavy! Nearly there! Nearly there! One more chop should do it! He won't be bothering us again! The giant was never seen or heard of again. And as for Jack and his mother, they both lived very, very happily ever after. You're back safe and sound. And you've brought gold coins. And the goose that lays golden eggs. And the magic harp. Uh. Look at all this food. It's lovely to have all these new things, but the most important thing is that you're back safely. <coughs> that old man seemed very pleased to have the magic harp. You look like a princess in that dress, Mum. <coughs> 